I still haven't even gotten the update yet. This isn't fair. You're dumb. Okay. Alright, let's go. It. First one. First one, and I'm gonna go with my girl immediately. Um, Hot girl. No, it's Lindsay. <laughs> it's Lindsay. Okay. I think she has the top because she's merged, isn't she? She she is merged. She has two merges. I got super lucky. I tried getting her when at release, and I was so unfortunate not being able to get her. Um, but oh. All right, are you ready? Are you ready? It's a, it's actually weapon refinery because she comes. She's one of the. I think she's the only one who came with this uh, prep already. Yeah. Yes. That's correct. So she's immediately into refinery. It is. Uh, really? Bruh. Really? Bruh. Really? Bruh. Really? She's gonna be a true quarter. That's so easy. Yeah. Th th okay. This is a very basic refine, but basic. It's so good on her. It's so good. That's this. They they kind of just realize what makes her good as a quarter. But this also means you don't have to put Swiss Barrel on her. Because if you have plus speed like I do. Wait, if you run double Swiss Barrel plus eight speed. Okay, never mind. Maybe you still run double Swiss, Swiss Barrel. No, no. You're wrong. What? You run Death Blow and Darting Blow in the seal. Oh, you could do that too. But I have a, other heroes for Darting Blow. Um, but yeah, she's a she's a pure quarter at this point. That minus two speed didn't remove it. But they basically made it worthless because you could just do this. Speed refine. Speed refine. Oh, you can also speed refine it, which is a funny thing. See, plus eight, speed plus three, speed minus two. But remember, Abidi is not like um, Reinhardt's weapon or Keithan's weapon. It's not a true brave weapon in that it doubles regardless of phase. It, this is only w when you initiate. So you can remove your speed um, demerit if you're attacking because you'll get two additional speed. Well, you'll get four additional speed, but it's four minus two, so two, and a four attack. So it's actually pretty good. So essentially, a midi is a 15 might weapon um, when attacking with plus 2 speed and plus 3 HP. So that's a pretty good bonus. Um, the only question is, if, do you want to switch off Death Blow that she comes with or into Swiss Barrel or not? Uh, you can also do Death Blow with Darting Blow if you want, but Swiss Barrel might be better and you can use your um, seal for something else. Anyways, this is a really good hero now. She was already a good hero. Um, if you run Desperation with her, Gale Force is a legitimate option because if she quads... That's minus four on the cooldown, and if you if you run anything else, Luna's also good because that's a guaranteed Luna shot if you quad. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of reasons to run the Lincia now. She's she's really good, but this isn't such a big change. Yeah, but it, it's a basic refine, but really good on her. It feels like the cop out that was like Hana's Katana, because this is still a really good refine no matter how you look at it. It's Swiss Barrel and effective against armor foes, but it it didn't like it, it's not game changing, you know. I, I think this is uh, the switch there on Alencia is a lot better though yeah, because it's, it's she better. she hits twice so mm -hmm. she's using that stats twice mm -hmm. whereas Hannah isn't guaranteed to hit twice mm -hmm. and Alencia might be hitting four times instead of just twice mm -hmm. right so for that reason I'm not against this refine but it's not definitely not up on my um, refine list to spend my um, goddess piss on because. Honestly, she should still quad relatively easily at this point anyways. If you have her like I do with perfect IVs and, you know, 40 speed base, 48 attack. So it's 54 or 40. And in running her in Fly Emblem, she's already so good. So it might be overkill, might not be necessary. Either way, um, this does help her. By the way, if it sounds like we're, we're saying it's bad, it's not. It's it's still really good. It's just, it's just we thought maybe something much more impressive than just Swiss Barrel. All right, this is for Kagro and being effective against uh, infantry foes. My expectation is she's gonna keep that, and then something else on top of that. So let's see what it is. Kagro's dart. What is this? Whoa. Wait, what? At start combat, if units attack is greater than foes attack, grants attack speed plus four during combat. So you need to have more attack. So plus attack Kagro. Oh wow. Um, I picked the right IVs for plus attack. Plus attack Kagro makes perfect sense. If units attack is greater than foes attack, grants attack speed plus four during combat. Effect dagger seven. Dagger set. Oh, they shortened the effect, huh? At, yeah. At so it's same dagger effect debuff, mm -hmm. but just now called dagger seven. Dagger seven. It's actually an improvement. See, it used to be defense res minus six. It's now defense res minus seven. Wow, it's a slight improvement. Huh. It's pretty interesting. All right. So I'm kind of confused. You need to have more attack just for attack speed plus four. Isn't that yes. just so? If you as have... long as she goes into com so she goes in combat, and she has fifty attack. As long as someone's forty nine or below, she'll always have those. 
stats. Yeah. Kind of, it's kind of like Swiss Whirl, but it's both phases, as long as you have more attack. So it's not a, it's not a initiate check. It's not an initiate check. It's a it's attack check. All right, and then of course the debuff of de debuffing ability is slightly improved here. All right, let's learn it. And then I'm we gotta check out what she gets. Yeah, I'm actually kind of surprised by this because she's lost her um, effective against infantry, which I thought was like the best thing about her, honestly. But 52 attack. With plus attack with death blow. That's still pretty good. That's still pretty good because she now reaches 36 speed when attacking. And 60 something attack. Anyways, um, let's see what the refinery is about then. Also. Okay, Cogrel Dart. Be? Huh? You see that little green text? That's it. I know, but I'm like so confused at this point. So basically, if she attacks, yes. your first attack against her does half damage. That's it. Chat. Chat. What what the heck is this? <laughs> it's like a defensive. Your first shot now can defend you. But what's the point of defending you if you're supposed to be a sheer offense hero? She goes against she goes from offense like effective against infantry, which is aiming for one-shot kills to reducing their damage so you're like completely changing her up she was a specialist before aiming to one-shot infantry to like snipe them off now of course with meta as is switching over and whatnot chance of her one-shotting is getting further and further away but this is an entirely different kind of role now this is amazing for vantage Right, if unit initiates combat, reduces damage from the first foe's first attack by 50%. Actually, no, it's not. No, that doesn't, it doesn't count. Doesn't work advantage. It does not work advantage. She has to attack first. Yeah, just because she attacks first doesn't mean she initiated combat. Your opponent's still initiating combat when they're attacking into her. And even then, the entire point of advantage is you kill them before they even attack you. So what? Well, why would you care about reducing damage? I am. Um... Not a fan of this. I mean, she can take on DC units, mages, and bows and shurikens. Maybe and all she that. can. If easier. She's at, easier if she's at full HP. But again, when you have a weapon refinery on a hero, the entire point is to take her to another level of what she's already doing, not do a 180 on what she's doing. So again, she went from effective against infantry, which was aiming to shoot, uh, get kills within one shot to this entirely different role of where she's kind of getting improving her attack and then she's taking less damage. So for her, I really like the, the weapon. I don't mind that it's not effective against infantry anymore. But the the effect is kind of... It's just kind of odd. It doesn't feel right on her. Mm. The one benefit is that she gets 9 extra might in her weapon over the poison dagger. So against anything but infantry, she's now better. And of course, the the weapon effect is better um, if you're not fighting infantry again. And of course, the debuff is better. But again, this this refine, I'm not really sure what I'm going to use this for. Where I'm going to find the usage of this for? Cargo for I, me was I, a defensive hero, but this isn't. I think you don't go with that refine. Actually, I think you go like maybe attack or speed. It's probably speed because attacks just one point. Yeah. Anyways, let me know, guys, what, what you're going to do. Her first role was ass. It was an ass. There are... How many heroes in this game are effective against infantry? Ask yourself that. Isn't she the only one? She's the only free-to-play one, that's for sure. Yeah, so... that's, that's all I can think of off the top of my head. Yep, so she was an ass. Nobody. And her dagger well, wasn't bad. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, I fought her to uh, Dancer Olivia. And it gives her like a better roll too yeah so i disagree i think they should just made an improved poison dagger because there was her role was unique and now they're like it they're now making it very hard for someone to stick with the poison dagger which is in my opinion is the mistake because she should definitely keep it all right this is for sizo sizo star after combat if you know attack inflict attack speed defense res minus six on target and foes within two spaces of target through their next actions so that's really that cool. is amazing it's a complete He's debuff like 
Yeah, he's a great. So they actually took his role, his original role, which was debuffing, and made it even better. Hmm. That's kind of refinement I like, where you and then, improve. Oh, well, keep reading. Read the green text. I know. Grants most attack speed, defense res during combat equals current penalty on each of targets. Stats caps each stat bonus independently. God damn, that's so good. He basically has the cleaner. He basically has the cleaner, right? You debuff them, and then, oh my god, current penalty on each of targets. Well, it's not uh, the cleaner's bonuses. So you actually know what's a good set on him now. He he actually really uses close counter really well. Yes, he attacks into the enemy team. Close counter advantage. He attacks with the enemy team, debuffs all of them, and when they attack him, he gets a super. He gets plus six on everything, and then when they already have minus six on everything, that's a plus minus difference of twelve, which makes up. Plus, for a, he could still get buffed. He could still get buffed on top of that. Yes. So oh this God. kind of puts Soth in the water. Yeah, Soth sucks. Okay, well he's not gonna say anything. That's fine. All right, yeah, so. No. Soth sucks. All right, so. Wow. Do, you, do you want to say something or not? I, I was just gonna say, think what you want. Okay. Wow. That's 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 really lame. Wow. Okay. So so sucks. All right. But size of star. This is actually a really impressive up update. Uh, I think this makes him a really viable. This, this, this makes him one of the top tier heroes to use now. Yeah. This makes him very viable because as a three and four star, very easy to get. And as an alternative to bath cam maybe yes me i think so i think so i think it could happen because this is a better debuffer and better buffer on her on himself the only thing that he loses out on against bath cam is he's not a flyer yes so flyer emblem and he doesn't synergize as well with air as a result but right but you could still give him legendary zero buffs so he'll still get plus five to everything plus his weapon yep you can still make him work oh my god i might make a sizo actually yeah, he's so good. He, I, I think everyone should at least have a size up. No, for the Naga seasons, you have to make a... Uh, sorry, for not Naga seasons. For um, Astro seasons, you got to make another team anyways. And yeah, because so... Bath Cam and, and my Keaton are both light season heroes, Sizer could head up another team. Yeah, he's, he's well worth it. Wow. I didn't expect that at all. That is that is sweet. Sizer's actually not bad. He's... Okay, he was bad before this. Oh, he was very bad. <laughs> he was very bad before this. But now he's but, not bad. Uh, yeah, he's really good. <laughs> Alright, he's really good. Alright, we're moving on. Um, Sizel, great change. The Loyal... last one was Oscar, who we uh, know has a gem weapon. Yes, so this is completely unexpected. He goes from a gem weapon to a, to, um, a slaying weapon. Which, by the way, is was good. is good. Because most people would just put the slaying weapon on him instead of the gem weapon. Which kind of sucks for them because now they just wasted wasted um, a five star because because this is <laughs> yeah. so much better. Loyal Great Lance, sixteen might, one range, HP plus three, Acc accelerate special trigger, cooldown count minus one, already pristine. But the additional effects is grants attack speed plus three to infantry and cavalry allies within two spaces during combat. That is a double. Okay, no, no, it's infantry and cav only, but that's a double drive for attack and speed. Yeah. And if unit is within two spaces of an infantry or cavalry ally, grants attack speed plus three during combat. Hold up, this is like Camilla. Yep. Except Camilla affects cav, uh, cav and flyers. Yep. He affects yes. infantry and cav. Wow. That's actually and really since, impressive. That's actually really good because um, infantry are units that are starting to come up even more now with like all these exclusive infantry skills. Mm -hmm. So if you pair them up with like Gnaw. Not only do they get plus attack speed plus three, but they also get that plus two defense res. I'm really impressed by this because this is like this is just the ability to drive up attack and speed plus three. That's pretty big because this is in his weapon. You could still run drive attack and drive speed, a seal and a C skill. So you can actually make it plus six attack plus six speed. Yeah, really good. Or still. plus nine attack plus three speed or something. You get the idea. Yeah, it's really good. Wow, I'm impressed. Uh, I think Oscar's great. This is one of the cases where I, I really like the fact that he's getting off of the Sapphire weapons because nobody used them. 
So if they had an improved one, everyone would just kind of be irked. With um, Titania and and who else from Sacred Stones? Um, Seth. Seth, yeah. Yeah, for with those two already becoming those gem weapon guys, so well, okay. So, I'm, I'm pretty glad happy with we that. didn't get that here. Huh? Glad we didn't get that here. Yeah, I'm really glad we didn't get that here. I'm glad they they took a look at people who used Oscar and recognized most of them just went slaying. So cool. Oscar is actually a really good hero too. He's better than Roderick offensively, and now he doesn't really even need to change his weapon because the loyal Great Lance is fantastic. All right. So to sum it up, who do you think got the best refine? Sizo. Sizo. It's Sizo. Sizo. It's without a doubt. Ch Chat. I think, think it goes. I think it goes Sizo, to Oscar, to Alencia, to Kagura. I have Cargo last as well, but I have it slightly different. I, I have Alencia second. I, I think the only reason I have her lower is because it's just, it's basic, but I mean, it works perfectly for her. Yes. A quad a midi build is basic, but like the beauty of heroes like her is quadding and not very many heroes can do that in this game. And as good as Loyal Great Lance is at buffing you, it is not as as impressive as a, as a more consistent quadder. If you think about it, there's only a handful of heroes in the game that can consistently quad. And and with that, Alencia is definitely there. Yeah. The buffing, double buffing thing and stuff, we we have heroes already for that. So that's why I'm not as impressed. But aside from that, I, I have it as, in, in general, size of the first. Biggest change, I feel like, as a free-to-play hero, he's he's made it. It's a real alternative for people to use in um, Aether Raids now. Uh, second place, of course, is Lincia, a tr true quad hero at this point. And third is um, Oscar with the lower Great Lance. The double buff on Infantry Cavs are, is impressive. And the final hero is, well, Kagero, because I have no idea why they changed her role from an offensive hero to more of a defensive hero. I'm not really sure why she even needs to reduce her damage by 50%. So, yeah. If you guys have been watching, like, people use Kagros, most of the Kagros nowadays are set up to use their specials immediately, and they go for one-shot kills. So, not so sure about that. 